purpose with doing all of this and spending all of these years is, of course, in the end, the audience. But the audience is always something very like abstract when you talk about it. And then all of a sudden to be there up on the stage and looking at this one person who's looking back at you and like, I'm facing my audience and it's you and we can look at each other and you're now going to be like the one who are like taking all of this the work and effort in and like we're doing it for you that was uh, it was really strong and intense The experience is really surreal because like you don't hear the laughter from the normal theaters and you don't hear the cheering from the hockey games. It's just you and the movie and the chair. I could really get into the movie more than if I wasn't a regular movie theater. It felt like I was one with the uh, environment and uh, the movie per se. I expect to just enjoy myself and eat and exercise and watch a lot of good films. Why we chose Lisa was because she re is really a film lover. She's engaged in the local film community in her hometown, Kovde. And she's also a nurse. She has, she has been spending this year on the front line, on the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. So this is also a, a, a reason why we chose her. I think films will uh, help Lisa in many ways. I think she will feel uh, less lonely. I think she will process some of uh, perhaps the negative emotions associated with uh, isolation. Uh, and depending on the content of the film, uh, she might also have a good time. I walked around waiting for sunrise. That took a while. <laughs> I watched some movies yesterday. So I've started to talk to myself officially. This is, this is my gym. I felt like I was watching a surveillance tape. I'm, I'm sure that the emotion gets amplified when you're out here, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, I just find myself watching all the birds. I can just sit and watch them for hours. I feel when I get home, I'm not going to be able to, to find that time just to stare at stuff for a long, long time. So I'm going to enjoy that for the next couple of days. I will try to do this at home, trying to isolate myself at home. Perhaps I will again feel that my mind is getting more, more and more quiet because it's a nice feeling, a bit more peaceful. cultural events around the world postponed or cancelled because of the coronavirus pandemic, one film festival is trying to carry on in an unusual way. A movie lover's social distancing dream. Imagine watching dozens of films on a private island. The Gutenberg Film Festival announced that they were sending one person to an isolated cinema. Seven days on an isolated island in Sweden with only movies and the sea for company. So no phones, no internet, and you can't even bring books. You just have to watch the movies. <laughs> and 
anybody interested can apply on the festival's website. To watch the entire 60 movie program of the Gothenburg Film Festival from a lighthouse on an isolated island. I don't get this, a uh, film festival for one. One person built for a film festival. Posten som rapporterar om här kliver sjuksköterskan Lisa in. Det är för en experiens unik. Hon mm. har privilegiet att regarda på en semaine de 70 filmer en kompetition festival de Godman. A week on this island of watching movies is an attempt to at least scrape the surface of the sense of isolation felt by millions. Let me just say, they should make a movie about this film festival.